Swayam Prabha. Digital India. Educated India. Nanam Paramam Dheyam. Knowledge is supreme. In this lecture, we will see that how the dimension of a commutative ring is defined in general. Uh, for a general commutative ring, the concept of dimension was first defined by Krull. And Krull's motivation to define the dimension came from actually topology and geometry. So, first I will set up uh, the the geometry, um, uh, algebraic geometry language I will use that precisely means the following. So, K is our base field, field and it is usually assumed K is algebraically close. And we saw in earlier lecture that uh, so called affine algebraic geometry this is precisely the study of algebraic sets in kn This is a study of algebraic sets in Kn. And we saw that algebraic sets in Kn, they are in bijective correspondence with radical ideals in the polynomial ring in n variables. And the correspondence is, um, if you have an ideal A, so ideal A, radical ideal we can assume, that is, using that we have defined this VK. This is all the common zeros of all the polynomials in A. A in Kn, such that F of A is 0 for all F in a. So, this is a subset of k power n and we have uh, saw the properties of these sets and those are precisely the closed sets of a Zariski topology on k n. And the other way map is uh, if you have a arbitrary subset w that you define an ideal of w i k w to be all polynomials which vanish on w. So, this is precisely all polynomials f in k x 1 to x n such that f of w uh, f of a is 0 for all a in w. And this correspondence is a bijective correspondence these are the inverses of each other and they are inclusion reversing. Um, all this was the starting point was precisely the Hilbert's null standards that I will keep calling HNS. Hilbert null standard says that if I take VK of an ideal and I take the ideal of that closed set, then you get back your ideal A. This is, so this, this means these maps VK and IK are inverses of each other. And they are inclusion reversing. So one can um, 
study the algebraic sets by using the ideals in the polynomial ring in n variable that is called commutative algebra. So, here is affine algebraic geometry, the study that is commutative algebra. So, these are these are geometric objects. and these are algebraic objects. So, for example, the points here they correspond to the maximal ideals and the closed sets they correspond to the radical ideals. So, the objects here have the structure of geometry. So, for example, so first of all I want to also say that um, uh, every algebraic set is of the form V of V k of F 1 to F r F m. Only finitely many polynomials are needed to define a given algebraic sets because this corresponds to the fact that the polynomial ring in n variables this ring is Noetherian. So, ideals are finitely generated. So, that is ideals are finitely generated. So, but I will still keep writing V k of an ideal. So, this is contained in k n and this is a closed set. it has a more structure. So, it also has a topology which is coming from Indus topology. So, this is also topological space with Indus the risky topology. That means, the closed sets here closed sets in V k A are precisely closed sets in k n which are contained in V k which are contained in V k A. These are precisely the closed sets there. Also, to this V k A, we have an attached an ideal that I k, I k of V k A. This is the vanishing ideal. This is the, all those polynomials which vanish on this. And therefore, also we have attached a ring, namely k x1 to xn. modulo this ideal. So, in any case uh, this A may not be radical ideal, but uh, here it will be radical ideal and therefore, this ring will be a reduced ring. Reduce k algebra of finite type over k. This is called also the coordinate ring of ring of V k. So, for example, if I take the ideal A 
to be generated by x square plus y square minus 1. This is two variables now, kx y I am taking. So, if I have to draw the pictures, I will draw in the plane. So, what will be, so this is a, so what is v? I am drawing, I am taking r equal to k equal to r for drawing picture. So, v r of a, this is precisely the circle. This is v k. If I would have taken two linear equations, say a x plus b y equal to c or minus c and times uh, a prime x plus b prime y minus c prime, this is my f, then what is v k of f? That will be pair of two lines. They may not be passing through origin, so there are two lines. Okay, and so on. So we actually study all these. So the study begins when we start studying analytic geometry in a college, where we study the zero set of uh, polynomials of degree two in two variables, and then we analyze them, uh, and we only do degree two. And we analyze them and say they are hyperbola, parabola, circle, and so on. So that was the beginning of this. All right. So our problem is to attach a number we would like to assign to each algebraic set V. V is let me abbreviate V as VK. To this, we want to attach a number called a dimension V. So dimension. Which, which should have desirable properties. What are the desirable properties? So, let us see two examples. They are very important to understand how we have assigned the number dimension. So, examples. One of them. Suppose V is defined only by one equation. Where F is a polynomial in n variables. So, suppose f is a non-zero constant, f actually is a constant a, a is in k and non-zero. Then what will be v, what will be uh, the vanishing elements in v k f that will be just then v k f is empty set because no matter which points I take in k power n, when I plug it in this a, it will never be zero therefore this is empty set. This is, this is when f is a non-zero constant. If f is zero, then v k f is the whole k power n. Because every po a point when I plug it in this equation, it is zero, so it is this. So suppose f is non-constant, non-constant polynomial. Then, then if Okay, if n equal to 1, we know this is then the finite set of point. This, this f, v k f is a finite set of points. Because it is a polynomial in one variable, it has only finitely many zeros. Therefore, it is finite set of points. If n equal to 2, then this v k f is a curve. When you try to plot the graph of this vkf that will be a curve when n equal to 3 this vkf is a surface in general in a general in general for general n one call this vkf as a hypersurface Hypersurface is something which is defined by only one equation and you call it surface, curve depending on whether n equal to 2, 3, if n equal to 4 it will be called threefold and so on. Alright, so this is one example. Uh, second example, 
सपोज नाउ आई टेक एन इक्वल टू थ्री एंड आई टेक वी वी इक्वल टू वी के एफ कॉमा जी टू पॉलिनामिल्स इन थ्री वेरिएबल्स एंड वी आर लुकिंग एट द कॉमन जीरोज सो दिस इज डिफाइंड बाय टू इक्वेशंस टू इक्वेशंस सो एफ इक्वल टू जीरो एंड जी इक्वल टू जीरो टुगेदर सो दैट विल गिव अस द फॉलोइंग सो वॉट विल बी द एनालिसिस अगेन इधर इट इट इज इधर के थ्री आई एम टेकिंग इट इन के थ्री सो थ्री वेरिएबल्स केस सो आई दर इट इज होल के थ्री दिस विल हैपन वेन दिस आइडियल जेनरेट बाई एफ एंड जी इज ए जीरो आइडियल दैट मीन्स एफ एंड जी बोथ आर जीरो देन यू कॉल दिस विल बी के थ्री अदरवाइज इट विल बी अ सर्फेस और अ कर्व और एम टी सेट सो एम टी सेट विल कम दिस दिस इज प्रिसाइजली मीन्स द आइडियल जनरेटेड बाय एफ एंड जी इज ए यूनिट आइडियल सो दिस आइडियल इज द होल सो इट जनरेटेड बाय वन अल्सो सो इट्स अ यूनिट आइडियल दिस केस इज प्रिसाइजली वेन एफ एंड जी these polynomials in three variables have common factor have common non constant common factor common factor non constant that is that case or when will it when will this happen and, and so you notice that these are the geometric properties कर सरफेस और होल थिंग एंड दीज आर आलजिब्रिक प्रॉपर्टीज सो दिस के थ्री वील ऑकर फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन दिस आइडियल जनरेट बाई एफ एंड जी इज जीरो आइडियल दैट मीन्स दिस इज इक्वल टू सेंग बोथ एफ इक्वल टू जीरो एंड जी इक्वल टू जीरो ओके नाउ इन दिस केस द it will never be finite set of points so uh, uh, it cannot be finite set of point that needs a little proof but uh, that i leave it for you to check it cannot be finite set of points okay now i want to attach a number so before i do that i also oh, so here it is i want to attached a number so this page should be okay i want to attach some number to the algebraic set so that and we call it a dimension and before that when do i say that an algebraic set when do i say that v which is an algebraic set is irreducible subset this means you cannot write v so first of all if v should be non empty and v is not union of two proper algebraic sets so that means we cannot be equal to vk of some ideal b union vk of some c and these are the proper subset that means vk b and vk c they are properly contained in v it's not this concept is defined for arbitrary topological space and a uh, subset of a irreducible a uh, subset of a topological space is called irreducible if it is non empty and it is not union of two proper closed sets then you call it irreducible for example um in this in this uh, example in the plane i have taken two lines this is obviously 
not irreducible because this is union of these two proper closed sets. This is one, clo uh, one closed set, this is another closed set, so this is not irreducible. Whereas the circle, this is irreducible. And later on I, we will see that this property, irreducibility in uh, algebraic sets that is equivalent to saying that corresponding polynomial, this polynomial x square plus y square minus 1, this is irreducible in irreducible polynomial in two variables. So this is a geometric property, irreducibility is a geometric property but one can explain in terms of algebra. This is what I will do it in general soon. All right, so what is the, what is the uh, dimension? Okay, the dimension, we want to attach the number. So what are the desirable properties? So these are desirable properties. of v going to this function dimension v. I am writing desirable property so that we will know what can it be and we will prove it should be that. So first of all number one the dimension of the affine space should be n. This is also matching with our earlier study that for example as a vector space dimension is n and, and so on. In R2, we are saying the two-dimensional geometry, three-dimensional geometry and so on. So dimension of Kn should be 1, uh, n. 2, if V is a union of, finite union of closed sets Vi is, I is from 1 to n, then the dimension of V should be equal to supremum of dimension of Vi's. So if you for example if you take a line uh, union of lines then the dimension should be one only because the dimension of each line should be one and therefore this. This uh, desirable property 2 is based on the thinking that if I take finitely many points you will not make it a curve. If I take finitely many curves, you will not make a surface and so on. This is, so this is the one desirable property. Third one, if V is irreducible, V is irreducible and W is a proper sub variety, proper uh, subset, proper algebraic set, algebraic set then the dimension of W should be less than dimension of V. The dimension of a proper subset should be strictly less than dimension of V. That is when V is irreducible. Now the next desirable property is if D is the dimension 4, if D is this number is the dimension V, and if it is positive, then V contains non-empty algebraic set W such that dimension of W drops exactly by 1, it is D minus 1. So that means, so this, this observation is based on the fact that every curve has points, every surface has curves on that and so on. So fifth, if V is an algebraic set in Kn and D is the dimension of V which is positive, then for most hypersurfaces, if I intersect 
v with h the dimension should drop by 1 exactly by 1 so that is the fifth desirable property so 6 1 6 if I have an open subset u open subset of an algebraic variety v algebraic subset algebraic set v and if it is dense u dense in then the dimension of u and dimension of v should be same all right uh, two more seven if d is the dimension v then there are exactly d independent functions functions on v so for example if we were uh, we were rn then we have n coordinate functions and they are independent functions so that is the motivation for this 7 the lastly 8 if d is the dimension v then so these concepts will become clearer when we define them properly then there are exactly d degrees of freedom on v so this we will define uh, soon now so the i would like to have a dimension so that it satisfy these seven properties but already we will show we will show that the properties 2 3 and 4 determines unique function from algebraic sets to natural numbers where v is non empty uh, for v non empty and okay so this we will prove it uh, soon but we will use the fact that this polynomial ring is noetherian this is what we will use to check that already if I have the property 2, 3, 4 then it determines the unique function and that is called a dimension and this uh, after the break I will show you how it leads to the definition of cruel in terms of the prime ideals the supremum of the uh, chains of the lengths of the uh, supremum of the lengths of the chains of the prime ideals this is what I will show you after the break.